Well, two Brisbane blokes have got one up on North Korea, pretending to represent Australia in an international golf tournament just outside Pyongyang. Morgan Ruge and Evan Shea entered the competition for a laugh while on holiday in China, even getting Aussie blazers made up for the occasion. <laughs> and thankfully, Morgan and Evan are now home safely. They're with us now. Lads, uh, first of all, I'm going to ask you this in my best dad voice. What were you thinking? <laughs> Over to me, hey? <laughs> well, we didn't, I didn't actually tell my mum until I was uh, at the border. And she said, I've got you to 28 years old and you're doing this to me. What, what have I done wrong? <laughs> she was furious. Uh, I got a big hug at the airport on the way home. But, but how did you actually get in? How did you do this? How did you make it happen? Uh, we, um, we, we were in China, in Beijing, on a, on a polo tournament. And we thought, oh, you know... Why just be a uh, single, single internationalist when we can be a dual internationalist? <laughs> <laughs> so we got busy Googling and the, uh, the Mongolian eagle racing was just a bit too far out. So we, uh, <laughs> we saw that there was a golf tournament on in, in Pyongyang where we were, uh, we were greeted as heroes. With our, uh, <laughs> well, the, the outfits are very authentic. At what point did the North Koreans spot the fake? I think they saw through our story on the first tee when... Um, they gave us a bit of a clap and went representing Australia, Evan Shea, and I stepped up to the tee and hit it straight into the drink. <laughs> uh, they saw through that cunning ruse. <laughs> he, lasered, he lasered three balls into the drink off the bat. <laughs> how, how much golf do you guys actually play at home? Do you, are, you, are you any good at all? I've, I've sort of, I, I think I'd probably played 18 holes total. Um, so, not a great deal. We I normally get to sort of three or four holes in and end up at the pub soon enough. I don't know if you know much about North Korea. The last thing I remember is Kim Jong-un's wife mysteriously disappeared nine months ago. I mean, this is not a place you go for fun. Dark stuff happens there. Were you not scared at some point or thinking, oh, maybe this is not a sort of place we should be messing with? I had, a, uh, I had an anxious night the night before. <laughs> Didn't get a great deal of sleep before we... Uh, I, I woke even up at about 2am and said, are we really doing this? But <laughs> the people were lovely. We were well looked after. Overfed, um, as you can see. But um, <laughs> it was good fun. Did at any point the officials ask why... Uh, Jason Day or Adam Scott weren't representing Australia? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I went for the Jason Day. She said, um, she said I was a little bit chubbier than him, my caddy. Um, <laughs> and she, she thought that, you know, when I, when I finished up on 120 and it brought great shame on my family that Jason Day probably would have been a better option for the Australian team. Evan, how did you come up with these uniforms so quickly and so convincingly? We Googled the 1976 Wallabies tour and um, that was really our inspiration for that. Where did you um, come made? Well, I, got, I got the largest ever created green jacket in Beijing. Um, <laughs> we had to pay a surcharge because there was the extra material. <laughs> and I don't know how convincing these are. My stitching hasn't really done that. Because when you were over in uh, North Korea, w did you just play the golf on that day, or did you like did they put you up in hotels and, and provide cars? Like, how, how much did they did you get out of this? Mate, they put us up in a pretty flash hotel right in the centre of town that was surrounded by a lake, so you couldn't get away. And it was a <laughs> it was a thirty story hotel, and it was coincidentally every single person was on level twenty six. <laughs> um, <laughs> And they had one bar downstairs that they reckon was pretty popular with locals, but we didn't meet any of them. We did have one big night with the Swiss ambassador who was pretty excited to hang out with, uh, <laughs> hang out with a couple of Aussie groggers. We had dinner. I feel like you guys would be great at a dinner party. <laughs> we are. <Lots> of <laughs> Gents, I think you're going to be getting a phone call tonight from DFAT, so we'll let you go. We'll go to Evan. Thank you very much. All right, see you guys. We're getting a few dinner invites now, I reckon. How many times, how many times do you reckon their mums have gone, you two, not hanging out together anymore? <laughs> I feel like they're that movie where they're grown men but they act as kids. What is it, like Step, Step Brothers? Brothers. <laughs> <laughs> like, Will Ferrell, what have you yeah. that? <laughs> Good on them. But we're glad they're back safely. Time for a break. Uh, back with more in a moment.